Terrafugia's TFX flying car is designed to take long-distance commuters wherever they want to go. First along the roads and then through the air, quickly and efficiently. Assuming the concept gets off the ground, the TFX will have a range of 500 miles and a cruising speed of 200 miles per hour. And the vehicle's operators won't require a pilot's license. The TFX will take off, fly and land autonomously. Terrafugia is already testing a flying car prototype called the Transition. It's designed for pilots who want to be able to drive their planes home instead of parking them at the airport. But CEO Carl Dietrich says the TFX is different. It's a flying car for the masses. We do want to create a flying car that can be used by a much broader segment of the population than, uh, than just the pilot community today. We want to lower the barriers to entry. We want, we want to make it easier to learn how to safely operate a vehicle. We want to make it safer than general aviation is today. Diedrich says the TFX's feasibility is the result of modern computer power. Occupants will need only to input a program to tell the car-plane hybrid where to go. Dietrich points out that most planes already have sophisticated autopilot programs. These vehicles that need to be able to basically fly themselves need to know where every other aircraft is in the airspace. They need to know where weather fronts are that they need to avoid. They need to know where restricted airspace uh, pops up. So they need to be tied into basically a data network. Dietrich says that the FAA has been making great strides in recent years towards developing that network and he is confident a system will be up and running when the TFX is ready to take to the skies. But there's still a question of safety. Well, there's certainly fail-safe modes on the computer side, but what happens, I think, if you want to get at the extreme, what happens when everything goes blank on you, when all the power systems go down, everything? Well, in that situation, basically, the operator still does need to be trained to do one thing, pull a handle. And that handle actually deploys a parachute, and this is a system that's on our current vehicle today, on the transition, a uh, rocket-deployed parachute system to bring the vehicle down safely under a parachute. And while Dietrich concedes that the TFX is only a concept, he believes the era of autonomous flying cars for the masses is just over the horizon.